Did anybody's sex education include a segment on oral sex? I would guess not. I remember the magazines under my father's mattress. Well, it was the 70s and I was about 12. <laughs> there, now you know. So, well, uh, well, my parents' bedroom was where the upstairs phone was. Yeah, that's all we had back then. Upstairs phone, downstairs phone, that's it. So one day I was just lounging on the bed up there and I, I hung up the phone and I turned around and I saw this piece of paper sticking out from under the mattress. <laughs> oh, what is that trash there? I need to throw that away. My parents are slobs. So, uh, well, imagine my horror when I pull out this glossy magazine with naked ladies just doing all sorts of explicit acts. <laughs> Oh my God. So then, well, I just pulled up the whole mattress and I, I found 10 more, at least, Hustler magazines under there. And I'm pretty sure they were not Playboy, as my father was not that classy. Okay. So it was, it was basically, I, I, I couldn't look, I couldn't look away. I couldn't look, I couldn't look away. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I, I ran screaming from the room. And then it had to be, well, my dad in the, 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 the dirty t-shirt with his arms crossed over a pot belly, leaning against the kitchen sink, explaining to me the facts of life while I stood in the doorway of the kitchen, as far away as I could physically get while still being technically in the room. And he just described this act, at least... I mean, he did not describe the mechanics of a blowjob, okay? He would just, it's just the regular stuff, you know, and just explaining it, how miraculous it all was. And, and I, this was gross. Uh, this was disgusting. I, I mean, this was a man. This was my father telling me this stuff. Instead of some nice old lady, like maybe my mother. Where the hell was she? I mean, I did not completely trust my father, okay? And I had a feeling my mother had a different viewpoint on all of this. Where was she? Uh, well, she was probably in the backyard gardening. Total pruning prude. Okay, and then we'll flash forward about 10 years as I tried to block all of these uncomfortable memories out. Till around the age of 26, maybe? When I was just riding around in some car with some guy. And I finally, well, you know, I was obsessing. I was brooding. I was trying to figure out, I don't understand it. What's this going to happen? So I just turned to him and I said, I don't get it. What do you, what blow job? What do you, what does that mean? I mean, blow, what does that do? I didn't, no, you don't blow. You suck. to the mattress. Fog is clearing. I can no longer be in denial. It, it was this, this act would indeed necessitate the, 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 the pain of me being inside of the mouth. Oh my God. Right then and there, I said, no. No, there is no way I can have a man in my life if it means I gotta have a penis in my mouth. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're gonna put what where? I don't think so. No. No. 
So, uh, yeah, it was, it was way worse than I, than I, than I thought, you know. I mean, I don't know what I thought. I don't know. I, I, I mean, people, is this really normal? I mean, putting mouths on genitals is something only four-legged creatures should be doing, and preferably not in polite company. Oh God, I guess I've become a total pruning prude, just like my mother was. And I hate gardening. And I often, I often wonder, you know, how many women actually enjoy this act? I mean, but isn't it pretty much a requirement? A requirement? I mean, just basically, you know, written into the marriage contract? Isn't the world organized according to blowjobs as long as you both shall live or until she quits giving you head, whichever comes first? So, you see, comprehensive, in-depth sex education would have helped me a great deal in life. And sometimes I wonder, you know, if I, if I had gone to better school, you know, maybe I would have, I would have had that. You know, I mean, don't private schools have better programs than this stuff? I mean, everything else is better there, right? I mean, for what the parents are paying, I mean, you would think everything would be much better and that the teachers would take good care of explaining the birds and bees and no girls, no young girls would have to hear about it from the perverted father with the dirty magazines. After all, it is a jungle out there. And here I am, still beating around the bush, so to speak. I just, but a bird in the hand is, it's better than two in the bush. And I'm not sure that makes any sense, but you get my drift. And this story does not have a happy ending. So, so there.